So you want to create coloring books to sell on Amazon, but you don't want to use AI because of the controversy surrounding it. You're not a graphic designer and hiring a freelancer to do the illustrations for you might be a bit expensive. So you're not sure what to do. If this sounds like you, then keep watching because this video has the perfect solution for you. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, I'm Mary. And on this channel, I share various tips and strategies to make money online, especially those that have worked for me and can work for you too. It's been a while since I posted my last video and that's because I've been busy with other projects that required my full attention. But I'm back and today I'm going to show you a super easy way to make a cute coloring book even if you're not a graphic designer and you don't want to use an AI image generator. First, we will find a best-selling coloring book niche. Then we'll find and edit illustrations for our interior. Next, we'll compile them using Canva. And finally, we'll create a book cover. If this sounds like something that you would like to watch, then grab a coffee, whatever makes you comfortable, and let's get started. I'm going to use BookBeam Research Tool to easily find a best-selling coloring book niche. You can do this manually from Amazon's website by going to the search box and typing in coloring books to find best-selling books displayed on the front page. But on BookBeam, I'll click on the niche section and select the US option under the marketplace filter, then select new high selling self-published book under the preset filter. Since we're looking for coloring books, I'm going to enter coloring book in the keyword section. And this is going to show a list of best-selling coloring books with BSROs within one to 30,000 that were published within one to four months. So here we have got a list of recently published coloring books that are selling really well. And this is a very handy list because this would give you an idea of the number of reviews, BSRs, sales and earnings per month for each book. And as you can see from these books, you don't need thousands of reviews to become a bestseller. Just a really good quality interior and book cover would do the trick. If you would like to try BookBeam, then click my link below to get 50% off your first month or 10% off your first year. I'm going to click on this one to have a look at the book's futures and content and even look at the review section to see if there are any gaps that we can meet with our book. You can do this with a few other best-selling coloring books to find ideas and inspiration for your book. Now that we have some ideas and inspirations for our coloring book, we need to find illustrations and the site I'm going to use is called Creative Fabrica. I've talked about this tool in my past videos and as a content creator, it's a great place to find thousands of licensed assets and graphics for your content. It requires a subscription though, but you can use my link below to get a free trial for 30 days and download 10 products today. If you think it's not for you, then you can easily cancel after 30 days. So I like to look for SVG bundles because these types of files can be edited and are scalable without losing any of its resolution when printed. You can type in keywords like farm bundle SVG to find illustrations that you want to use. For instance, this one. However, I'm going to search for animal bundle SVG because I'm looking for animal illustrations for my interior. Now I really like these images, but I'm going to go with this file and download it. Now, once you've selected your bundle, click download to save the file to your computer. Next, we want to remove the color from the illustrations. And don't worry guys, it's super easy to do this. And I'm going to show you how. The tool I'll be using for this is called Figma. And Figma is a great design tool for designers and the starter mode is absolutely free to use. Now, simply create an account by clicking this button and follow the prompts to complete your registration. Now, to create a new file, click on design file to go to a blank design area. Next, simply drag and drop your file into the design area like this. Then ensure your image is selected. Now on the right pane, 
he would see selection colors. Click see all to view all the colors within that image. I'm going to leave the black color because it's the border color, but I would change other colors to white by clicking on each color and changing it like this. So this is how it should look when you're done. Simple, right? Now I've already done a few more images that I'll be using for the interior using this method. To download images as a PNG, click the export button here and click export. Now it's time to compile all our illustrations for the interior and the tool I would use of course would be Canva. Now I'm sure most of you know about Canva but for those of you that don't, Canva is a great design tool and if you've watched my videos I use it a lot for most of my design work. It's completely free to use but you would get limited assets and graphics with a free account. So go on and create an account then log in. But before we proceed any further let's get the correct dimensions of our book. To find out all the trim sizes that KDP Amazon offers, click on this site, the link would be below, and then click on set trim size and margins. Then click on trim size and on the link for trim size specifications, width and height with minimum and maximum page count, kdp.amazon.com to view a list of trim sizes. Now the most common used dimension for a coloring book is 8.5 by 11 but you can also use any dimensions you want from this list, it's absolutely fine. You would also need to leave these margins for the inside and outside margins but I generally leave a 0.5 inch margin for all my books and I'll show you how you can easily do this in a moment. Now after selecting a trim size, head back to canva.com and click create a design. Then enter the book size in the custom size option and click create. Now click on file, settings and on show rulers and guides. Then create a 0.5 margin on all sides by dragging the ruler like this. I'm now uploading all the pictures we downloaded from Figma and we'll drag them into the page once the upload is finished. Since we're creating a coloring book, I would like to add a blank page after each illustration. Therefore, if we have 50 images, we'll have a total of 100 pages. You can add other graphics like stars, doodles or text to enhance your book. So I'm done adding all the illustrations, leaving a blank page after each one. And now it's time to go to the next and final step. I'm going to be creating a book cover using Canva, but the first thing I'm going to do is to find my book's dimensions. So let's head on to Amazon's cover calculator site to fill in your book information. I'll select paperback here, black and white as interior type, white paper, left to right, measurement unit will be in inches, then trim size is 8.5 by 11. Next, enter the number of pages and click and calculate dimensions. Once that's calculated, Amazon will display the width and height and measurements of our front and back cover, spine areas, bleed and margins. Download the template here and let's head back over to Canva. Now on Canva, click create a design again, then custom size. Enter the width and height from Amazon and submit. Now we need to upload the template we downloaded from Amazon, then drag it on the design area like this. The template will ensure our contents are within the correct margins. I have already uploaded the colored images that we got from Creative Fabrica here and I will use this for the front cover. But first, I'm going to add a text, then change the font type and the text to the title of my coloring book. Next, I want to add some effects and we'll click on effects here, then on outline, and then change the colors.
Now I'm just going to duplicate the title, reduce the font size and change the text to the subtitle which would be coloring book for adults and kids. Next, I'm going to add some of the illustrations to my book cover like this. Now, let's duplicate the text to add some words for the back cover. This is just a sample text, but you really need to go all out and make your book more unique and creative with your text. You can also add some pages of your interior to the back cover to give users an insight into what your book is all about. Now I'm going to delete the dimensions and templates and add some color to the background. I'm also going to change the color of the subtitle like this. Now let's add some cute doodles and elements to complement the page. And that's about it. Our coloring book is done. Download it by clicking on share, then on download and PDF print. Now you can upload to your KDP account and publish. Uploading and publishing your KDP book is just the first step in your journey. You also need to market and promote your book using different channels like social media or Amazon ads. I've talked a lot about this in my other videos, so please check them out. So let me know in the comment section below if you have any question and what you would like to know next. Maybe I might make a video on it next time. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also share the video to your friends or family that you think would need it. Until next time, have a lovely day.